Hi guys, um, I was just in the middle of um, doing some student feedback and I figured instead of typing out, instead of drawing and then typing about it, I'd rather just record my screen and just show you and explain what's going on. So this is a, a student example um, submitted by Matthew Cottrell. Thank you, Matt. Um, so I'll just um, comment on stuff uh, and draw over things as I as I see them. So first thing, I just labeled them drawing one, two, and three so we know what we're all talking about. Um, first thing in drawing number three, um, the human body does this thing that when it's at rest, um, the shoulders and hips will always be at opposites. So as you can see with this lady here, she's standing and you can see that like the uh, shoulders are angled in this direction and your hips are angled in that direction. And it's just something the body naturally does. Like, you'll never ever, like, unless you force yourself, you're never ever going to be uh, standing with your shoulders completely, like, uh, completely straight like that. It's always, you're always going to have, um, you're always going to have stuff at a bit of an angle. I, I believe it's called the contrapostal principle or something, it's not really important. Just remember that when a body is at rest or, or when you're just chilling, uh, you should have that kind of sort of thing going on. So in here, in this drawing, it, it looks a little bit like they're going the same direction. So let's have a look. If she's resting, she's definitely resting on this that I think she's resting on this hip, so that hip should go that way. So therefore, this should be going that way, or vice versa. But there needs these these shouldn't be the same. A, this should be, yeah. I guess we should, that hip is going up. Yeah, that, then this should be more like yeah, like that sort of thing. Uh, what else? Um, <clears throat> When, when looking at um, her breasts, um, <laughs> like unless unless uh, uh, she's had some work done, like you're not gonna get you're not gonna get this sort of shape. Like um, it's more like it's more like it doesn't look very natural at all. So you get more of like that sort of shape and that sort of shape. Sort of thing. Cool. Um, and then again, we've got the shoulders, which I've talked about. Shoulders. Uh, same sort of thing here. Like you're getting this weird. Like, first off, her her muscles. Uh, actually, I talked about this in the in the previous video. Um, about the way the muscles and the pectorals connect, there should be this sort of like wrapping around of the muscles. So you'd, be, you'd get something more like that. Get something more like that. Um, and then again, you don't, you don't have this sort of thing going on. Um, it'd be more like, like that. Uh, then the rib, the, the kind of the indent of the rib, like that, kind of thing like that. Uh, what else? Um, uh, all right, in the side view. Oh yes, this is it's a pretty good attempt. Um, with this arm, the, you're sort of making up some muscles. Um, so. It's like, so we've got our pectorals, we've got our center line here, we can see, and the pectorals here, cool. And then again, it should wrap around, again, it wraps around that, um, the way the pectorals are connected to the shoulder muscle, wraps around. Now, you've got one, it's sort of like one more muscle than it should be, like how it should be, 
is like I've got my shoulder connecting and I've got my shoulder there and then it connects straight on and then we have the other the other part of the arm you've got that's, you know, that's the pecs so you've got this thing where it's like it's wrapping or you've got the you've got like that muscle and it connects to like that which connects to that which gives us like this one extra like this just like this bump and a bump and a bump yeah, yeah. so it's more like you'd want it to be more like All of that is connected there. And again, you're getting this kind of weird kind of indent here. It's more like more like that. Kind of thing. I'd have to see your reference image, but it's even that's a bit too long. Maybe something more like that. Again, I don't have your reference image, and, and Matthew, you mentioned that you were using some sort of like some stylized images for your for your reference. So, so yeah, um, use actual um, use actual imagery. It's more like that, uh, and then the neck. It's a little bit too far that side, so you should have it more like more there, kind of thing. I think that's the head would be more. I guess it's. It looks like it's side view. The head would be more that way, and also with the jaw, you see how um, it kind of wonky there. The jaw is more like. Let's take your head here. Move it a there, cool. The jaw. It's in this neck. Who's that? The jaw being more like that. You've got to have it a little bit more on that side. comes that uh, yeah again you're just you're just adding this 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 area here is it's just it's too much is it that the muscle isn't isn't supposed to be there it's more of a again that wraps around it's more of just a smooth connection straight you don't have to add that extra bump Straight. Make the arm comes in. Kind of thing like that. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty like it's good. Good use trying to trying to get this uh, this kind of weird angle. Like good 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 job with that. Um, what else is going on? Oops, one second. Oh, my uh, my Photoshop crashed, but at least the video is recorded. Uh, I'll just move. I saw all the work I was doing there. Uh, well, it's on video, so you get it. Uh, here we go. What else? Um, let's see. Okay, we're back on number three. This woman's arm is a bit dislocated, um, as you can see. Like it's 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 it um. Way like it's, it's it's kind of yeah it looks a bit dislocated. So the way um, to think about the proportions, right? So let me just get her. And I'll, uh, cool. Um, we've got 
shoulder there, shoulder there, right? Connect it. Her rib cage is here. Rib cage. Now, um, where the elbow lies, it's usually just you can you know check your own body for this. The the elbow usually is just below the bottom rib cage, so it's usually like at rest. It's usually like there and over here. Like you know, if I brought that out, and then line, yeah, which is pretty cool. Just pretty correct what you've done here. Cool. So you know. Um, so over here, you've placed the. It looks like you've placed the um, elbow pretty good, but it's just the arm should probably. Oh, and the arm, like the the palm, uh, your palm of the arm usually comes around like there, so it just looks like it's a bit. Bit. Yeah, okay. And then you attach the hand. Like, you had it a bit like the, I guess, yeah, it's the, the hand was a bit too hot. The hand was a bit too low. You've got to move that hand up a little, up a little bit, so it's a bit more like that. Um, yeah. And again, I think that will do it. And again, with the head. Um, yeah, we'll get on to drawing heads, but I think that's all I got to say from Matt. Um, really great effort. And again, you know, all you guys are doing this for the very first time, so I really appreciate your effort and your, your hard work. And for the guys who haven't posted, like, you can do it too. Like, you know, just just, just have a go. I know it's hard. Have a go. Don't get discouraged. Um, you know, you'll only learn if you participate. Um, yeah. And again, I'm always here to help and draw over your work and, and do little videos like this. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, Matt, and good luck to everybody else. Bye.